Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Julian with the Jewel Design, and we are at a little crafting chat this morning. Oh, it feels like forever, guys. Uh, so the problem when you get ahead and you do a bunch of filming ahead of time, which is awesome because it gives you time to do other things, it feels like forever when you come back. But we are here back beginning of February. It's literally February 1st for me today. Um, 1st of February, Tuesday morning. Uh, but you guys are, of course, seeing this on my usual Thursday morning journal with me video. As you see, I have a mess in front of me and a wonderful pile of scraps and papers and fabrics. And we're going to definitely just do a crafting shot today. Um, I got inspired by a new YouTuber under, or not, she's not you, new, but I found her. She's new to me. Uh, Treasure Books, Natasha. I think that's how I pronounce it. Um, Natasha, she's out of Australia, and she came across a reel or a YouTube short. Something got my attention, and I went to look. So then I sat there and watched her make these cutest little mini journals, right? Scrapbook paper, and and she just would you know, embellish up the little pages and just something really cute. And I went, oh, that's cute, okay. And I thought it was really fun, it was really fun. Now she uses cardboard and fabric and stuff like that, and then I was cleaning stuff up as I was finishing up all the videos and um, getting things sort of situated for the next month here, I found, well, scrap paper, of course, um, but I had found this little, you know, Amazon-like type packaging envelope that I had from something that someone sent me. And I thought, well, we love the sound of the crunchy stuff. So I, I opened it up. You know, one end is a little smaller than the other because of the fact of how it pulled apart. But I thought, wouldn't that make the best little cover, right? A little thickness, a little bit of crunchy noise. So I wonder, you know, I'll, I'll cover it with something. And then I happened to look over, and this was sticking out as a scrap piece of fabric out of my stash. And I thought, ooh, I'm still sort of in that pinky red mode for Valentine's and whatever. But this is just like any time of the year. It's just pink, you know. It doesn't have to be Valentine's at all. But I thought, wouldn't that be fun to glue down, make a fabric cover out of it, and then, um, you know, add papers and stuff like that. So we're making these tiny little mini journals. They're def def definitely like a decor piece. You embellish them. All the little pages you sort of embellish and add stuff to it. And it's just a cute... Literally, a, you know, junk journal, or the, just full of scraps and bits and pieces and whatever you have, which is what we're all about right now, right, is, is finishing up and, um, and you know, using up our scraps, trying to clean out our, our stash because we're all, like, overwhelmed. So, today we're going to cut the pa the fabrics <coughs> and glue them down, or at least one side. I'll show you what I'm going to, what I'm going to do. Um, she did glue down just enough her, her fabrics to her cardboard or whatever, sewed around the edges, then cut the next piece, glued to the other side, and sewed around the other way. So she had fabric on both sides. Uh, and I don't want to sew today because that would just take away from some of the time frame here. So we will get one side glued down, cut ready to go, and we'll trim the other side ready to go. Um, and so next time when I come back on, I'll show you like how that came up. Or I'll do a quick reel on Instagram or something, just showing like how this has progressed. Now, We'll start with this. If things go well and I want to have do another craft and chat, you know, we'll embellish, we'll decorate all the little fun little pages um, in a week or two. So I, I plan on probably two journal with me's this week, this month. Nothing super exciting unless something pops up and I'm like, hey, I have all this time or I really want to play with this project with you guys. Um, I know we did like seven videos last month. Um, it did okay. I didn't get a lot of feel. Yeah, I'm still, surprisingly, still growing this channel. Um, it definitely hasn't been a super whirlwind of excitement. Now, the only bummer part is she had pinking shears for fabric, and I do not have pinking shears for fa for, sha bleh, for fabric, which is sort of a bummer. Um, but she does cut it beyond, and I realize I'm going to need to do that a little bit better. We don't want to see the pink. Not that there's a problem with the pink to a point, but I may, you know, have to do some lace or something at some point 
to make sure the two don't intertwine. So what I'm hoping is here. So I cut it that way. I do want that sort of as my cover. I just don't know if I'm gonna do that end or yeah, we can flip it around and we can make, okay, there's, there's my front cover, which I think is really pretty. So we're gonna glue that down. Oh, yes, so I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, you enjoyed January. January was, you know, beneficial and exciting and a good first month to January. You know, it's been a little crazy for everybody. Some people had very quiet Januarys and other people had very crazy Januarys. I don't know. As usual. We under, under and overestimate the year uh, these days, so... We'll see. But yeah, I got a lot of YouTubes done. I got a lot of digitals out for you guys. You know, the um, at the end of the month, hopefully you saw my newest kit, the Victorian Blue. Lorette's shown it. Gail's shown it. You know, of course, I have my reveal, to, my digital reveal too. Well, that's enough. But if I'm sewing it, it won't matter. I'm trying to remember to keep that fabric tack laying down today. A little cold out here. It's definitely early in the morning. Um, definitely curious about what, what the groundhog is going to say tomorrow, cheese and crackers. So hopefully you guys have that information. I'll have to put, I'll have to put something in my, uh, description below. Groundhog said this, gasp. Um, I don't know. We really need more winter. We need more rain. I mean, I wouldn't mind an early spring if it meant a wet spring, but I don't need, I do not need things blooming yet. Oh, so not ready. Okay. So there's that. It won't fall again until I get the other side. But we just go in and we would just on the edge, like close to the edge here, sew it. And then she would, she just took the next piece, glued it down, and then used, like backwards, she used the exact same trim line or, or sketch, stitch line to do the back to keep it, you know, attached. Isn't that cute? I love the ruffle on that side, actually. That sort of works. I probably could trim it, like lightly cut at it, or even use scissors, and I could probably get the side of fray too, especially once it's sewn. And let you know, let the fray, the natural fray of the fabric, work for in our favor. And if it's sewn right, it will totally, you know, stay put, not completely unravel. So, hopefully, my voice isn't too froggy. I said it is early in the morning. I had the heater on briefly out here. The house isn't bad. The house has the fireplace going right now, so that's a little jealous right now that that's inside the house. Okay, so I'm hoping, and I'm not. It's gonna come up short right there. Ah. I was hoping I had enough and it wouldn't come up short, but it's going to come up short in that corner. Mm. I didn't want to, well, you know what? I could though now. I, so I, d I definitely was debating on making a second cover out of this fabric. So I love this, this guy right here, but I know for sure. Oh, it's tough on it. oh, oh sugar. Oh my God. What is that? I have a second page up here, and I can get the maybe get the, still get the first one out of here, off to the side. Okay, so what I'll do is I hope aha, that we can get yeah we can get a second page out of here out of this side, and then that allows me to do the other side, the other half I should say. So let's do it. We're gonna cut it this way so I can lay it right on top. I won't cover it though yet. I just want to cut it and get it ready to go. Oh, so what does everybody have plans for this February? Oh my goodness. I don't know. I guess everybody's like, oh my gosh, the first month's done. I'm like, yeah. It does seem a little... If January seemed long in some ways, like, especially when I was doing all these videos ahead of schedule, it was like, okay, where am I at and how am I going to have to do and what? I have time for more videos? It was weird. I couldn't believe it. I was like, I could get seven videos done for you guys. And like, what we the two two reveals for so I still have that corner which I wanted this pink really bad on one and then I can either flip to the bottom because this one I think I can actually do that with yeah I can flip to the bottom and keep it light or I could put this guy in the corner so we will just fold this up I won't start this one quite yet we'll see how this first one goes and whether I make a slightly even smaller one because this one's even smaller than that one make a really little one maybe we'll sell them as a set I haven't decided a set of them, then they can make really great little gifts for everybody, or whether, you know. All right, so this one I did leave a little bit more on the end. I wanted to see how things panned out before I go. Because I can always trim it once it's done. I want to make sure I'm happy with what I got before I 
completely trim it. So that is the goal. We'll do that one and that one, which then makes me wonder. I'm like, ooh, do I want that as a front? Because that's a huge, that's pretty too as a front cover. Downside, it is over here, so I can't make it. Would be gorgeous if it was on that side at the end, but that's okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's a little odd, so maybe we won't. Maybe we will leave it as it. It's definitely going to be near the fl the floral end to the inside of the book, and then it'll be nice and plain back here. But that allows me to like stitch, do some kind of stitch work or something fun and embellished on the back side of the cover. So there we go. So that is our standard piece. Now these pages do not have to be perfectly fitting inside. They can be a little out, a little under. The whole point is to be very um, junk journaly. So look, I have this scrapbook card that I folded to put inside and it's definitely shorter. Um, and that's okay, you want different sizes. So like right now we are definitely coming up short. I was gonna make this my sort of template piece. So that was just a piece of, of paper. It was a printout, I think, of a digital. And a lot of these are some of these, these are some of my digital, so there's going to be white on the back. But this is where we can distress it, embellish it, do whatever, glue it onto another page. Those are a little short, so we definitely want some of these other pages to be longer than that. Found this. I just was, I just found stuff. Stuff, 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 stuff to decorate, glue on. Like that one could be totally the tag, but I could glue it, make it a tuck, decorate it up. That could be cut on the back. We have this one, which is definitely short. I wonder if I could glue that to the inside of that one. Make it, distress it, and glue it. Hmm. Uh, yeah, this is just definitely, uh, she, yeah, she just grabbed, I think she said 10 scrap pieces of paper, folded them in, gave you, tw you know, 20 pieces. Thought this would be fun. Again, it's, it's a one of my larger tags but to distress it and utilize it in some way where, I don't know, I just had purpose. But it's different pieces of paper. It's definitely using the scraps that you have left over. If I have plenty of those, let's see. Just wanted different pieces of paper. I want to Okay, but I jump on. We would jibber jabber for an hour, and we would put pages together and see. And I will sew it in like I do with everything else. Um, her no, but she did have the idea. She used actually. Um, at one point, she used uh, that sort of stretchy um, ribbon that I used for the home, the heroes in um, retro kit to keep them in place so that you could pull them out and journal on the page or look at them and then put them back in so that might be fun let's see instead of sewing everything in um but i think she also had like a like she had a cardboard cover so um hers had a, a seat had a, a spine to it so she put three signatures in it and used each ribbon, stretchy ribbon, to bind all three journals. So, eh, this one might get sewn in just because it is, you know, I don't, maybe I don't want to bounce it around too much, or, um, you definitely want your layers in different places. You want everything sort of, definitely a lot of distressing to do because there's a lot of white on the back of a lot of my stuff. I try not to use a lot of digitals, but, let's see if we can get this one longer. Yeah, that one comes up longer anyway, naturally, because it's a weird piece. But that leaves me like where I can put trim on the end, or I can do you know, this one. Let's see, I'm trying to eyeball it here. Definitely eyeballing like pages. So it's super early this morning. Ugh, my husband's out of town, so um, I'm on cat duty, which is really annoying. I'm used to dealing with the animals at night and getting the kids to do their part and all that fun stuff. And, um, but you know, first thing in the morning, they're, they're used to being fed at like five o'clock. And I'm like, seriously, now, I may not leave these all the way out right now. I'm leaving them out as in to remind me to like do trims and ribbons. I have this gorgeous, um, tea dyed like uh, ombre, uh, trim that I'm thinking 
when it's opened up, can be glued down over one of the pieces of paper and would be a gorgeous embellishment to, you know, to some of these things. So that's why I'm leaving some things sticking out right now. Um, so yeah, I have to get up every morning and, um, and I'm definitely using pieces of paper that I feel go with the fabric. I'm not just picking completely random pages. Uh, this was a scrap piece left over from the Valentine kit or Valentine journal. This one, this was the front cover. This was one of the pieces on the front cover of the Valentine journal. Um, yeah, so the cats are, you know, used to super early morning feedings. And I'm like, uh, I don't, don't want to, don't make me. I'm going to go sideways, but it's tall. Yeah, I'm already worried. Some of these things are like a lot more narrow than I expected. So when I fold it in half, it definitely doesn't stick out. Hmm. Down says I can't just, unless I want to use this more, like I glue it to the back side of something to give it oomph. It's almost, card, it's almost a card stock, so I don't know. We'll see. So they wake me up at like anywhere between 5.30 and 6.30 in the morning, and it's like, and then like it's been super cold out, so I'm trying to, I got the fire started yesterday, and so I'm trying to keep the fire going because I'm so tired of running the heater already. Um, I really am. I don't like running the heater. It's great for a few minutes for the kids and like their rooms, but it doesn't do a lot for the rest of the house. It really doesn't. Um, there's only two vents in the kitchen living area, living space area. We lost one when we revamped the house. When we revamped the house. We lost the one in the kitchen. He want he was gonna put it under the sink, so it pot like it come out from underneath the sink. And I don't know. We, there was too many pipes and stuff there, so we didn't get to do that. And so I'm sort of frustrated. I'm like a little frustrated about that. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to rearrange these stuff. I think instead of having all our one, I need to like vary where we have long ones and where we have short ones. I'm like, mm, we need to vary this. So we only have the two vents and it really, it's like, it's great. Each small room has a, has a heater vent, but the rest of the house is like so cold. I really rely on the fireplace a lot um, to do its job. So I am doing this inside this, taking my, you know, like eyeballing it to see how it feels. Right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine pieces. So I have one more piece of paper I was going to play with. This is lined. Actually, that's the other thing. I bought some journals, um, paper, just paper journals. Never used them, so of course I decided to pull them apart, and we're gonna make use of them in multiple areas this year. I'm like, there's paper in one, there's a cover in another, and I'm like, and it's just like, um, like a watercolored cover on one of them, and I love it. So I'm gonna put it, repurpose it, of course, but I don't know what to what. I just know that I have all this gorgeous, you know, coffee dyed paper inside it, and I'm like, what good is that gonna do me? So I think I'm gonna use it actually for my personal purple journal. I have, um, I think that's what I'm doing, that or it's going in a, in a wildflower kit but okay that yeah that's fine okay so we have one more piece of paper to add to this which would give that 10 page concept for a single like i said she had a spine on it she did two or three two or three signatures because she could do so i want to go sideways with this but find that middle ground where it's not yeah everything i have is really narrow wow did not realize that, and so it makes it really short. Hmm. But it'd be great if we could actually write on that one. But I have a feeling I'm doing it the other way. I'm gonna want this. I want more, a little bit more width. So I'm gonna have to go that way with it. Okay. I'm all darn. That's okay. But it's good. It's it's good to change it up and change it, change the direction of stuff. So it's not like all very obviously horizontal work all the time so but yeah with the cats means I'm up and the fire was not going as well as I liked this morning so I had to get that going this morning before I lost the last of the embers which meant I well took time it means it took time it means I had to be awake for a while so I thought well you know I have an hour before the kids have to get up so let's just get going and I can always take a nap later <laughs> and I can take a nap later yeah hubby's out of town so I don't sleep all that well anyway I have a hard time sleeping when he's not home. 
I mean, I sleep, I just, it takes me forever to go, okay, well, I guess I'll go to bed now. That's weird. It's weird. So we'll be able to put that in the middle. You know, the one thing everybody does do, which I haven't really done much of yet, yet is put the pockets. Like, your inner sig signature has been... I've seen a lot of ladies now who, who do a lot of just flat paper journal, just junk journal papers. You know, we're all like, not the digitals and all the embellishments that um, some of us do. But they are doing just a sewn-in or a glued-in paper pockets in the middle of the signature. So I'm wondering if that's where this would come in play is a really good way to do that. It's not long enough to go all the way across, but I could do two side by side. And what do, how do they do that? They trim it. Oh, shoot. Oh, I think you go this way. You trim it in a little bit this way at an angle so when you fold it, it doesn't get in the way. Okay. So let's give that a shot and see. Oh, there's two pages there. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I can do maybe two top and bottom. They're exactly the same or two separate ones. I like this one because it's a little bit more broken up, so that way, like, I can um, get variety and not really look like it's the exact same thing. Goodness. But anyway, yeah, if you like the idea of tiny little mini journals, um, treasure books, she's out of Australia, she's on YouTube, she has all kinds of cute little journals and details and so I thought it'd be fun to do something that wasn't fully digital it wasn't a huge book I can decorate it but I don't have to worry about journal space this wasn't really meant to have journal space doesn't mean I don't have plain pages that I can we could journal on like we could write on but I think it's just gonna be fun to sort of just sit here and grab everything I've got and um and uh what's the word you know embellish it find whatever I have and see what comes of it Okay, so let me get a pencil. Aha, uh -huh. find a pencil. So I can decide how far out this needs to go. And let's see, we're going to cut it probably just. There we go. All right, so we'll do that first. So I get a feel. So that way, too, if we happen to come across and I end up making cute little like tags or something, like I may turn that into a tag. Um, we have somewhere to tuck them into. All right. So hopefully this excites you or encourages something. Because I know her video did the same for me. Where I was like, hey, that's super cute. And oh, look, I have something that might work with that. Just trying to use my stash up, if nothing else these days. Because we are definitely at a point where... Did my taxes and I was like, oh, I bought all this stuff. I really should, and I can't write it off again next year. I don't, you know, I just go off whatever my my credit card or my, you know, tells me that I spent that year. I don't try to like remember what I bought which year. And it's like, no, 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 that would be crazy. I would never remember. And um, I just do a little bit right. I just do that with tiny little indent so that when you fold it I guess it doesn't get in the way but I mean I've done that right that's all right now what I don't know is that I'm just I guess I'm just stressing some things huh all right let's give this a shot um yeah I did the taxes and it was like ugh. okay sort of a bummer it's like yeah make just enough money to cover all your expenses yeah you take a hobby and make it into a business so you know yeah you could write off all your supplies and I get to write off my programs and stuff like that because I use them to create all these pages, you know, like this page. And, um, but, you know, when you file jointly on it with a small business, it's like, ow. I guess I could file separately. I don't know if that would help. I don't know. I never thought about that. If I would just, I don't know if I can file, like, if you file jointly on your, for with your husband, like, I just assumed and add the business in there, so, you know, it goes, you know. I just um, assumed I'd, you know, add the business to his end, not by myself, so, because I filed jointly with him, so. I don't know, I never thought about that. Ask, wondering if I should just file the business separately, and then, 
but yeah, I just spent money on a TurboTax with a business though. So I'm like, mm. yeah, I don't have to think about that next time. I have to look into that and see if anybody knows. As an Etsy shop, do you have to, not have to, because of course you want to, I'm like, I want to file taxes, that's not the problem, but if it makes more sense to like file that separately, but I don't know. I've always just, well, you know. All right, so I did it, I cut it inwards only so that it didn't get in the way, but it does make things smaller. Who knows, maybe I should, I'm debating whether I should have left that open un, un, unglued now. But yeah, we did, I did the taxes this weekend, which was oh so fun. I want this bottom portion, so like I have different things. Um. Yeah, it was not on my top 10 list. I had to do it all by myself. I said, hubby's out of town, but I don't like, um, I don't like leaving the taxes for too long. We did that one year. We filed taxes, and when I went to file taxes, they claimed that someone else had already filed taxes under my name. <laughs> I'm like, excuse me? So we had to, like, do this big old hoopla. We had to mail in the taxes. I was like, oh, I don't think so. So, and now I have, like, a security code and crap. So, like, mm, yeah. They know it's me, and no one else can file under me, but I try to pretend to be me. Um, but I also then mean that try not to wait too long to file taxes, so that there's no, like someone doesn't try to get in there and then turn around and have to dispute any of it. I really would hate to think I can't get you know, our money back. <laughs> really want our money, whatever it may be. Not a lot this year. With the business and the kids and, I don't know, just everything going on. It's not, it's one of our least exciting tax return years, but I was like, oh, I could really use the money back. We do make sure that I take out a, de a pretty decent amount out of our paychecks. And so, or his paycheck, I should say, not mine. Well, I mean, yeah. So I guess that's the other thing, too. There's no money being pulled out, right? Because... I don't have them withhold taxes. Well, you know, so I am. Um, I'm like, well, that's a little more, huh? Got to pay the taxes somehow, right? I'm trying to debate what I did here. I feel like I need to cut it down just a little bit. Like it's too straight up. Let's do that. I'm gonna sort of similar. I know I didn't like. I should have done it sooner. Um. Yeah, so anyway, that was fun. I was like, oh, I'm doing this by myself. Why am I doing this by myself? Usually, like, he's cooking dinner, and I'm sitting there entering in numbers, or I'm sitting there organizing paperwork, and he's entering in all the stuff into the TurboTax, and, you know, we've done it mornings, we've done it in the evening, you know, a nice bottle of wine. <laughs> I had no bottle of wine, and I didn't have my, my partner in crime with me. I was like, man, my dad isn't much fun. Those are definitely different, but that's okay. Yeah. Oh, well. You do what you do, right? Water. Hold on. <laughs> Just making sure. After all that, I'm like, oh, please tell me this is on like it's supposed to be. But yeah, we're gonna... We'll keep this glued up so nothing falls out. Because it is on a flimsier paper. I didn't close that. And it's cold out. Um... That's, but it's all, I mean, it's done. I'm waiting for him to get home, technically, so that he can take an eye and take a peek at it and make sure I didn't, like, do anything silly or there's anything he could see that I forgot about or he knows about. Like, there were all kinds of weird questions in the state side of it this year that I was like, I don't remember those. Because, like, last year, I, I, actually, last year I did, in, uh, he was cooking dinner and I did, because of the business, had to enter in a lot of stuff so I sort of did it but I was like oh do we feel for this or do we file for that or do we have any of that I mean yeah I don't I don't recognize that but you know do we can we can we do we have that information so like it was one of those years last year where I sort of got a feel for the taxes because I don't do them I, I'm the one who organizes all the all the information I get everything piled up I make all the excel sheets I do all the numbers and then he you know he goes in and he asks and I go oh that's this or oh that's that and our little teamwork there. And so, I actually was doing some of the entering in last year with him around, which I guess is a good thing. 
but I there's things that California updated this year that I'm like, uh, I don't remember those questions last year. I don't remember ask, them asking us about weird things. It was like, okay. All right, there's your little inner pocket. Now, when I go to sew that cover, I might just sew around the whole outside here just to give it some oomph um, and make sure that these don't really come unglued. And that would, if I change my mind and sort of slit this open, at least I know the outside will stay put. Okay, so there's that. So we have, I think we have 10 pages, or 10 pieces of paper. So there's two, there's three, four, five, six, sorry, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I thought it'd be sort of cute. Again, this is more of a decor annoyance little thing. It's just like something fun to put in here. I was hope I was cutting out something one day. Oh, well, I mean, they're, as you can see, they're holes. I don't know what the holes are for. Something, oh, for one of the um wor numbers I did. It's a number set. just don't know how far out to go. I'm just debating on, like, as something fun and just interesting to put in here. To have glued it down. Ooh, glued down somewhere. Thought maybe it'd be fun. It's like putting a doily in here, which reminds me of my doily. Oh, so we'll definitely have a few extra pieces in here. But if I distress it a little bit and add it like over a piece of paper, it gives it sort of a belly band feel, which I sort of like that idea. And of course it's totally crooked. I don't even know how. I don't even know how it's crooked, but it is. Hmm. All right, so we're gonna get a little shorter in the back, a little longer in the front. And I need to add the doily somewhere. We're getting it up here. Why not, right? Decorative piece to that. Ooh, I like that idea. I always put those backwards. I don't know why I fold them in. So it's like your like your lace, trying to figure out which way it goes, and I always get it wrong. There we go. That's okay. All right. So, and I won't because okay, so you don't sew this down anyway until you have something to sew it into. So I just have to clip it in place and so there we go so yeah we'll see how long some of these may not stay this long but then again like i said if i really want to put the um i love how it's ripped here we've got color there it's nice to get out there we'll distress that we've got the that there so this one if we put i think this is gonna be the good one to put the ribbon on the end of it let's see so look at that, we've got a cute, just little, it's not super big. Now, depending on how much I put in here, and I put that upside down, oh, good catch. Oh, it isn't upside down, or it wasn't upside down. Oh, the whole thing's upside down, okay. Yeah, that's gonna be tricky. I gotta be careful I don't um totally goof that up. There you go, that's yeah, so why I didn't have it upside down. I was upside down. No, it is now, that's right, I was upside down. Oh my goodness, okay, there we go. Until it's too early and I even never I have not had my coffee yet because I just knew it would get cold could be sitting out here with you guys jibber jabbering and I mean I could stop but it would still be cold by the time I'm done with everything okay so the goal is to make sure they're up and down my only thing is probably decorating a lot of these little pages before of course sewing it in look at that isn't that cute okay so the only thing I think I'll play with you guys with real quick is it to that one trim on the end then I'll let you go I will uh, get this sewn down and uh, figure out what I want to decorate you know find my next stash of stuff on how I want to decorate this and then I could always then I could pop it back on uh, for another journal with me whether it be next week or the following week we'll see how the day goes if I get another video done for later you guys will see it in weekly increments there's no point bombarding you all at once then I have nothing for the rest of the month to show you, and that's no fun. Oh, well, that's no fun. Put that back into place. I know I have this little, it's a little Starbucks thing. A friend of mine um got a hold of a, the cutest little brown versions, and they're more square, and they have like a little coffee cup in there, and she made the cutest like notebook insert coffee stick thingy. So I'm trying to bait on this one. Like we just decorate the top, like flower or something, and so that you could insert it like a bookmark. Then the other goal is to possibly decorate up a Starbucks sleeve. I have a bunch of these. I had all these ideas about these things 
and then totally lost track. So I'm thinking about collaging around it, opening it up and putting a Velcro piece in there. And we were, I was gonna use it to like slave this, but I'm just realizing now with all this stuff that's sticking out, I wouldn't be able to do that. It won't fit. I'd be, I would be thinning it out. So okay, I can open this up. And I can open it up because I have hundreds of them. I am not ruining anything. Oh, those are getting really, they used, to, they used to pop off real easy. Now not so much. Okay, I was gonna collage it and then I, was gonna, I have fab, uh, what do you wanna call it? The Velcro like snaps and I was going to wrap it around to keep it from coming, like coming apart. Nope, not that one. I'm trying to put this back in the right spot. Mm, there we go. Uh, I wanna just see. This is where I'll use this to keep things in place so I can see if with all the extra pages sticking out, I don't think, if I kept it within the fabric frame, the frame of the fabric, I probably could do this, but I think, yeah, see with this, this extra piece sticking out, I can't do what I want to do. Hmm. So do I do the keep the trim or do I keep the... The wrap because I was going to collage it, decorate it, and it would wrap around the whole fabric piece. And then you could, you know, you would open it up and then you would have this. Now, whether I glued it to the back permanently would be the debate, but I probably not. I probably just, and we could just undo it and you could pull it out, play with it, and then you could put it back together, especially if it got really chubby. But then I couldn't do the extra trim on the outside. Ooh, hmm, debatable. Now, the only thing then be would it would be do this have every if, if the other the little one stuck out and I had extra pieces, I could get that one in here, but then it's almost too big. Like that that one is like too big, even if things are sticking out. Like it, that one's too big. Because you sort of want to keep the the what's perforated like in place. You want to utilize that. I'm Dying to use these some, in some fashion. Mm. I am determined. I was gonna make, I, I had such grand, grandiose ideas when I first started this business a year and a half ago. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna do all this stuff and you guys are gonna wanna decorate them. <laughs> and then I lost the mojo and now I'm trying to figure out someone because I have like 20 of these things. And I think they are good Velcro wrap around on journals, especially for these little guys or a bunch of journal cards or something. I'm gonna find a way to use these. I just can't decide, do I, do I collage this thing no matter what, but then we lose that. Mm. And I really want to put the trim on there. I just don't know if it's worth. I guess the other question is, do we go brown or do we go cream? I have both. I think the dark would be sort of nice. Let me make sure you guys don't get out of sync. I think, if I rip the edge, there we go, I think it's this way. Um. This came from hand, Handmade by Just Gigi's Shop. Um, she has the cutest things. She has a vintage shop and she has like a supply, you know, journal supply shop with her journals. Um, so I am a fan of her stuff. So I'm just gonna do that. Like stretch it down, glue it on. Something sticking out. And it's really light, so I definitely want to make sure it's glued onto a piece of paper because if I don't, I think it's gonna. But do it on? Do we do it on both sides? Do we wrap it all the way around so you see it from both sides? And I think I will, so it's nice and firm, and we have it. And I really want that. I think I really want that as an edge instead of always doing lace. There'll probably be lace on something. One of these pages is bound to have a little lace sticking out, like having lace behind the the burgundy one would be pretty. Um, or even lights off the other other side. So yeah, we're going to keep the trim and have the pretty sticking out. Not so much a wraparound. I will use that wraparound for something else. I will find something. I want to do a coffee series. <laughs> These are cute too. These came from another company that I go to. They're super cute because it's already decorated in coffee. But I'm hoping to get some co coffee lover word sheet out soon. That is also on my to-do list this month. And so maybe we'll do, I know coffee, we do coffee dyed, but do a coffee, an actual coffee journal. I don't know. Someone wanted a daily journal on a coffee mode. I have a, a happy planner that I love right now. So her, um, her whole month, her whole journal month that she's doing is 
all coffee. Like she's um, every weekly page, every like at a glance, whatever you know, whatever she's doing in that journal for that month, it's all coffee. So I'm excited to see what her February is going to be. But her coffee month was super cute. So I thought it was, I thought it was cute. So I'm like, hmm. I know some things are not uh, vintage or are not antique or Victorian. And I do have tendencies where I get a little bit more modern. I try to keep the look a little still vintagey. I try not to get too modern in the look, but maybe the theme is a little bit more modern. Just because I, I, I love all this stuff, but there's times where I, I don't want to. I don't want to do vintage. <laughs> I don't want to do. That was the fun part about doing the shabby retro and the um, retro, the retro baking kit and the um, shabby sweet treats journal. Um, you know, they, I mean, they were retro instead of vintage, or they, you know, and they were um, shabby retro or whatever. And that was those was those were fun. The uh, heroes and heroes and What's my my heroes book? Heroes in Retro or whatever it was was fun too because it was definitely a different. Was a hero? It was something that had a new twist to it. So I will say we'll do that, and then that way when you do open, it, you still have like little bits of um, journaling space if we wanted. We have the whole other half of the page in journaling. But we have that, and then I because it's mesh, you we can add a layer of something to embellish on this on this side too. So that is always fun. All right, and then we're gonna flip it over. So it'll still be all brown in this case, so that's good. Not that it had to be; it could be white, and I'd be okay with that too. But I love these ones. They're sort of they're a nice um, ombre of colors as it goes from one to the other. I have one in like a pink. I think a pink to teal, a blue to t purple to teal, also, which I love. I've got a couple different trims like this from her. So I'm really excited to use those this year. Okay. Let's see, this is enough. So, fun little idea, just goofing around, using trim, using things I have. My goal, like many, was is to use it up, right? Use it, recycle it. Um, and the junk envelopes and other things have been a big deal this year, this month. Everybody's like, we have them, let's use them. And they're great bases. I love envelopes. Oh my gosh, I love the windowed, envelope, and, and windowed envelopes. Um, Amy turned me on to that, you know, over a year ago. She was making stuff out of the junk, her junk, the junk envelopes with the window, with the window pockets. And I started folding them up and making the cutest, you know, pockets out of them. And I, you know. I adore making them because I get, you know, you have the window pocket part and then you, in the front, when I fold it up, I get another two or three, you know, two or three pocket tucks out of it easily. And I love decorating them up. So those always been a, has a soft spot there for those, but we'll have to see. I know Lorette did all kinds of absolutely wonderful, um, window pocket stuff and, um, who's the other one? Um, Shabby Dabby Doo Doo, I think, has a thing going with those, too. So, I have my ladies that I watch. I don't have a lot of time to watch a lot, so I'm pretty selective of who I have. So, you'll hear the same names. Lorette Chandler and Gail Augustinelli and uh, Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Doo, Amy at Crafty Cat. These ladies are all rock been at it for a while and got it down pat I'm just like oh I'll get there one of these days right no but I mean I am, I'm, I'm a digital designer you know and I love crafting though so I am just sharing what I'm doing with what I have and um, sharing what I have you know what I did with, with the digitals that I make so that you see how to give you another idea how to use them because I don't watch a lot of videos I try not to I try not to so that I don't end up copying too much but sometimes you're just like that was totally inspiring and here's my rendition of it because I do not have a lot of supplies I do I'm in a lot of paper I have a lot of lace in a way I finally got enough lace and ribbon I finally got a collection of that but I'm really my embellishments are totally like inadequate 
I'm realizing I have like no flower. I have very few flowers. I have butterflies because I made them. I just have to print them out and cut them. Like I made, I've made like, I was like, I'm not, a, I'm not at a dozen yet. I think I'm going to get eight or ten sheets of butterflies. Right? So I was like, it's not like I haven't made things. I just have to, oops, I have to print them out and cut them. R flowers are definitely the one thing I don't have a lot of. I have very few. I bought some bright color flowers back when, and now I'm kicking myself for not buying more. I don't have a flower punch or a petal punch of some sort to make my own. And I'm like, eek. Is it tattered? No, it's not tattered treasures. Um, One of our girls, one of the ladies who follows me, Mom, Gail, they all follow. You have to look for them. She makes all kinds of gorgeous um, flowers, cl you know, clustered, layered, however you want to call it. She did a whole set for Valent for well Valentine ish. So Alright, well that's sort of fun too, because that Alright, so there we go. There's a little something. So yeah, definitely want to embellish the edges as as, as they're longer, distress things. And all that jazz, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so there's our pages. We need to decorate, we need to distress, we need to embellish, because this not this is really is not set as a journaling spot. There are a few areas that I may just leave and we decorate the outside, right? We may distress the outside of this and leave it to to, deck, to do a little journaling. But it's definitely a lookbook. It's a decorative piece. It's something that sits on your desk. Um, and you look at it, you give it as a gift to someone who enjoys the idea of journaling but doesn't, you know, doesn't have the time to journal or doesn't have the time to make anything. So um, I know I have a number of pieces from my mom who, um, I, I mean, they're, the cards in them are totally able to be journaled on. But... I just love the way it looks so it stays out and me and my daughter will pull it out every so often and just go to town and just flip through it and ooh and ah over all the pretties. So we're definitely in that ballpark. So there I gotta put it down so I don't lose everything. I know where everything should be. And that is my little mini. It's all of, let's see, find an even number here. It is like four, not quite four and a half tall. The cover is like three and a half wide but with all the goodies it's going to be almost five almost five inches out it's just shy of five inches out so um a little four and a half by five full piece almost a square when it's all said and done i said this one just happened to be almost four and a half by three and a half on the cover really cute so there we go ladies and gentlemen a little craft and chat with me today as we work on a little mini we will be back definitely in two weeks um, I'm trying to space things out so you get one a week, a video once a week from me one way or another, but we'll see how this turns out. Um, you may get one next week with all the embellishments. Keep an eye out on my Instagram my and my um, Facebook groups uh, for any little tidbits, hit, hints, flip throughs of what I'm up to so you can see the progress as we go along without having to do a full YouTube video every single time. Because that can be, you know, daunting at times, right? <laughs> I'm like, that can be a little daunting. But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. A quick chat, craft and chat. Uh, getting caught up. Saying hello to February. Let's pray that it's, there's more winter. I, I'm so sorry if you were in full winter and you would like to see no more snow. I don't blame you. Uh, but here in Cali, we need more rain. So if, rain, if winter means rain, then we need more. We need six more weeks of winter. Um, otherwise, we are going to be you know, a, a flame, a, a flame of, of <clears throat> fires all season with no way to put them out. I'm pretty low on the whole water scenario. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining, liking, commenting, and subscribing. If I know I have some newbies, um, there it is. Um, well, it wasn't as short as I thought. My goodness, we're already 40 plus minutes deep because I can just sit and chat forever. All right, thank you very much. Brand new subscribers, thank you for joining. I hope you will follow along on my little tidbits of information and, and, and silliness as we find new things to be inspired by. Uh, I reveal new kits to you guys, and we work our way through um, our supplies, right? All, all of our gadgets and our goodies and our um, purchases over Christmas, and we get to 
um, make some wonderful things to share with friends and family and to put in our shops and keep our hobbies <clears throat> with a little bit of income. So thank you for joining. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and loving. This is Jolene with A Jewel Design. Welcome to all my new subscribers. And we will see you, hopefully, for well, for sure, next week, one way or another, journal with me or digital design. I have new things in the works, and I can't wait to share them with you. Have a great day. Talk soon.